National Children's Day fever gets more intense as the signature birthday celebration of countless children broadens its scope all throughout Asia. Thanks to Pastor Apollo Siki Bulois, Children's Joy Foundation Incorporated, more children feel loved and remembered on this significant day. This is the Harapan Bagi Bangsa in the impoverished community of Tena Mera, one of Jakarta Utara's remote places. It is in this community where the Children's Joy Foundation has initiated free English lessons to preschoolers in the morning and free music lessons to grade schoolers after classes in the afternoon. Being one of the CJFI's community outreaches in Indonesia, the place was picked as a venue for this year's National Children's Day. Complete with party effects, games, giveaways, food like chicken, spaghetti, and the works, the common birthday among these hundreds of children is an event to remember. Young beneficiaries are amazed with the different booths that welcome them. Balloon booth, face painting booth, sweet treats, among others. The kids also enjoy different party games with prices. <laughs> their parents can be happier when seeing their children spend the day with a CJFI volunteer. This young girl, Nishka Tobin, did her own share of making this girl's name. 
There is also gift giving and friendly walk for children to express their gratitude for the man behind the National Children's Day, Pastor Apollo C. Kibuloy. The school principal and teachers are also thankful and delighted to know that Pastor Apollo has chosen their community for this annual event. Kami buat lebih besar SD harapan bagi bantuan pasukan serta guru dan juga seluruh anak muda yang terlibat selama ulang tahun ada pastor atau macam ini masih sudah menjadi besar di luar kampung sana buat para guru anak-anak murid dan masyarakat sekitar semoga apa yang beliau lakukan akan jadi berkat bagi semua orang tuan pasti membalas berkat kepada dia terima kasih kami berdoa untuk beliau keluarga dan lainnya. And for these children, there's no greater joy than knowing that somebody loves them and wants to share his own birthday with them. School bags, school supplies, watches and toys that they brought home that day are simple gestures of thoughtfulness and love. What these children will bring with them till they grow up are not the tangible blessings their tiny hands can hold but that invisible touch of human love permanently imprinted in their memories and in their hearts. This day isn't any ordinary day for the Pertubuhan Kebajikan Kanakanak Selangor, an orphanage in Klang Utama, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. More than 100 orphans in this institution would have a birthday they would never forget because it's the National Children's Day. As early as 5 o'clock in the morning, the Children's Joy Foundation incorporated volunteers in Malaysia prepared the food and all the necessities for the big party. Can we make a change? Make one another to do the best we can. There'll be peace, oh brother, spread across the world. Because we gave to one another and lend a helping hand, lend a hand now. These children who no longer have parents or family have been waiting for this day to come, and it has, on this occasion called the National Children's Day. They were plenty of foods, cake, ice cream, balloons, and to the children's great delight, a party mascot. Faces, different stories. These children face a future which is yet vague and undetermined. Children's institutions all over the world, like the Pertubuhan Kebajikan Kanakanak Selangor, help these young ones live from day to day without fending for themselves on the streets. It is in orphanages like this where children without anyone to depend on to for provision and protection are kept from harm's way. 
Pastor Apollo C. Kibuloy's brainchild, the National Children's Day, has become a healing balm that solves every orphan's bruised heart. That invisible pat on the back that reassures each boy and girl in this orphanage that somehow, beyond the four corners of this building, more people love them and are willing to spend their time just to see them smile. Pastor Apollo's National Children's Day every 25th of April strikes a chord in the hearts of millions, not only in the Philippines, but also in its neighboring countries like Thailand. The zeal, the passion, and the fervent desire to simply make children happy has become an inspiration for enlisted volunteers of the Children's Joy Foundation to touch more children's lives, especially those who no longer have parents or family. This year, in the spirit of the National Children's Day, CJFI Thailand turns to the orphans of Chonburi Province. UNICEF reported that as of 2010, Thailand has about 1,054,000 orphans, 374,000 of which are due to AIDS. Thousands of these orphans are in various orphanages of Chonburi, which is three hours' drive away from Bangkok. Today, the CJFI volunteers set off for a mission possible to make these orphans happy on their adopted birthdays. This is the Child Protection and Development Center in Bangalamung, Donburi. The children in the center, ranging from 4 to 15 years old, are from four neighboring orphanages in Pattaya. Many of them are street children or simply abandoned by their own family because of poverty, prostitution, or AIDS. These kids are supported by the donations of different concerned citizens and organizations. They are sent to school from elementary to secondary levels but are given a choice to go where they want to as soon as they reach college. It's either they will be totally adopted to a new home and family to pursue further studies or career, or to stay in the orphanage and sent to college with individual sponsors. CGFI Thailand has chosen the Child Protection and Development Center as a venue for this year's National Children's Day due to its spacious activity area, which is perfect for a big birthday celebration where it can accommodate hundreds of children at a time. This is one of CGFI Thailand's friend attorney, Basabar Aris Wangki, or better known as Attorney Tuk. Attorney Tuk introduced the Children's Joy Foundation's president, Pastor Apollo Siki Beloy, to the children. She even taught them how to pronounce his name correctly. The party began as the magician came. The children can't help but wonder how he's able to do tricks which they have seen for the first time. Any children's birthday party is not complete without party hats, balloons, and of course, yummy foods. There's nothing but profuse thank yous from these children shouting Kapun Ka or Kapun Kap. And when they saw the cake, everyone began to stand and sing Pastor Apollo this wonderful song. 
led by a 20-foot all the centers sat and the CGI by volunteers and the kids sang in chorus while the candle on the snake was lighted up. Small children couldn't wait any longer. The Children's Protection and Development Center staff also came in front to give their token of gratitude to the CGFI's founding president, Pastor Apollo. The day didn't end without them receiving individual gift packs from Pastor Apollo, which they will bring back to their living quarters. Pastor Apollo has brought joy once again to another batch of five children whose lives have been blessed just because this world doesn't run out of love and goodness. It is the mission of the Children's Joy Foundation Incorporated. It is the purpose of the National Children's Day. For eight straight years, the magic number 25 has become synonymous to something fun and exciting to look forward to for children across the world. The National Children's Day, every 25th of April, is a colorful tapestry. Joyful boys and girls gathered together in one big birthday celebration aimed giving them a wonderful memory they would never forget. The Children's Joy Foundation volunteers from as far as London, United Kingdom, have their own version of the signature revelry. Of course, all the ideas, efforts, and resources pulled together are inspired by none other than the CJF founding president himself, Pastor Apollo C. Kibaloy. Despite of the busy life in London, these volunteers work real hard to pull off something extraordinarily great and wonderful for these children to cherish for the rest of their lives. Happy birthday, Pastor! We love you! From London KLC, happy birthday, Pastor! Happy National Children's Day! Happy birthday, Pastor! We love you! Had a bunch, Pastor! British, Spanish, Portuguese, Scottish, African, and Asian children from as far as Scotland, Bristol, Aylesbury, and England's countryside are treated to a grand garden birthday party. NCD Bug left these kids smitten, and so the day ended with them expressing their gratitude and birthday greetings to the biggest benefactor of the Children's Joy Foundation. Happy birthday, Pastor Apollo! We are from Eritrea. My name is Elsa Melat Maui Meron. Tupu Ameti Funel Ka Pastor Apollo. We are from Eritrea. Happy birthday! Feliz cumpleaños, Pastor! From London, United Kingdom, we greet Pastor Apollo C. Kibuloy and all the children all over the world. A happy National Children's Day. The April festivity that is so well known among children in the Philippines began to capture the hearts of little boys and girls in Canada back in the year 2010. From then on, Children's Joy Foundation Canada made it a point to always put up its own version of the merry gathering of children celebrating their adopted birthdays at once. Welcome to Canada's National Children's Day! Happy, happy 
where there's an endless supply of food, bottomless drinks, gift giving, and parlor games. And of course, happy little faces that make every April the happiest month of the year for Children's Joy Foundation volunteers the world over. And for the Children's Joy Foundation's founding president, Pastor Apollo C. Kibalor. Fun didn't just happen and stop in Vancouver, it crossed the Canadian cities of Calgary and Toronto. The joy is as equally infectious as in other places where April 25 is deemed as every child's adopted birthday. And just how it's done in its place of origin Davos City, Philippines, the National Children's Day Canada version has its own parade of princesses. Another bonus treat is a huge inflatable castle enjoyed by the birthday celebrators just because it's National Children's Day time. From Canada, we greet Pastor Apollo and 3 million children a happy, happy birthday. From the tropic islands of Hawaii, the bustling cities of Israel, and to the ancient town squares of Spain, the National Children's Day makes a whale of a difference in a borderless world. In Hawaii, Samoan and Micronesian refugees had an awesome time of their life as Pastor Apollo C. Kibaloi through the Children's Joy Foundation gifted them with a grand birthday party. There were plenty of toys, food and gifts for everyone. The kids excitedly lined up to receive their gifts from Pastor Apollo. Pastor Apollo's National Children's Day captures a diverse throng of children who had their adopted birthdays for the first time. There were Arabs, Jews, Turkish, Africans, and Asian kids who joined the happy celebration. Enjoying a day together, the children had their fill of sumptuous food to their heart's content. The same cheers of delight and words of thanksgiving echoed in Spain. And of course, in Africa. For a borderless world that we live in, there's always that common bond that breaks down social, religious, and cultural barriers among nations. And that is no other than the simple joys of childhood that every innocent child teaches us despite of who we are or where we belong. The National Children's Day in various places in the world exhibits that stark reality. And it all began with the vision of one man. In the United States of America, Children's Joy Foundation Incorporated volunteers are up for the bigger challenge of gathering more children and putting up a grander birthday party to accommodate more beneficiaries for the National Children's Day, which originated in Davos City, Philippines.
And on this day, when thousands of children across the Philippine archipelago troop to various areas to enjoy a moment of fun, kids from around the state of California are gathered to celebrate the National Children's Day. There are Americans, Hispanics, and Asians coming from Los Angeles, San Francisco, and Delano, all looking forward for another great surprise. Being one of the staunch supporters of the Children's Strike Foundation International Beneficiaries in the Philippines, CJFI USA made sure to replicate an equally unforgettable birthday for all the children. There were abundant food, drinks, kitty treats, games, gifts, and prizes. Happy birthday, Pastor! We love you! Happy birthday, Pastor! Thank you, Pastor! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Young citizens in first world countries like the United States usually have it all, material things and a well-provided life, except for parental love and guidance. What the Children's Joy Foundation International aims for is to fill in the gaping hole in the hearts of these children whose family and loved ones are either too busy or occupied with work or nowhere near them most of the time. Children's Joy Foundation International wants these kids to feel the love and attention that most of them thirst for. And seeing every little face shine with cheer and delight is an enough source of inspiration for all the Children's Joy Foundation International volunteers to reach out to more children in the United States. In partnership with youth organizations like the Keepers Club International, CJFI USA has also launched free music lessons, sports clinics, and family-oriented activities on weekends for children and teenagers. Its ready arms of charity are always ready to extend help whenever calamity strikes various places in the Philippines and in Asia, like in the year 2012 and in the past years. Children's Joy Foundation International USA will always live up to the Children's Joy Foundation name and that is to bring joy to children not only every National Children's Day but every single day of the year.